enough of that business. Woo! What up, everybody? It's been a little fancy up in here. What's up, Carlos? You jumped on here first. Hey, Lynn. Valhalla, thank you very much. That's awesome of you. Thank you so much. I'm going to scooch this over here. Woo! That's too big. Taylor, what's up? Hello, mother. John Silva. Gregory Hines, it's been a minute. Mr. Wayne Scott in the house. How are you, sir? Cole Barron. I probably slaughtered that. Let me know how screwed up I am. Get a drink, please. Hopefully you have already started. <sighs> Callie's on. First live show. Congrats. You rolled into a smoke show. Hey, B. Carlos, I still have a little funky going on, too. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, I can talk about what I got going on, I suppose. Oh. There's smoke upstairs. The alarm may sound. Oh, shoot. It's going to be loud. That's unfortunate. We set off the smoke detector. I'm going to turn on the fan. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, there we go. That usually freaks out the dogs. Hopefully that uh <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh a little smoke machine. What's up, Thomas? What up, Gabe? Hey, May. You're new. Hey, Dad. What's all the smoke? Blam! I appreciate it, Valhalla. Someone's going to get in trouble. <laughs> My home, you know what? A home can't be too smart, I'd like to say. What up, Black Pearl? So here's what's up. Uh, real quick, I've been playing with, y'all know I've been playing with um, these nozzles, these fancy vortex generating. Uh, interesting nozzles. So this is the real deal. This is this is a, a VCA um, RFG. So uh, it shoots water in here and there. It pulls a little Venturi action through these fins and it spins it out here. Great Bearded Reef, welcome, and thank you so much. You missed the smoke show. I hope you go back and watch. <laughs> and my smoke detector going off. Uh, please also excuse the noise. Because I have the fan on. Because it's hotter than hell in here. Because the 3D printer is printing some of these. Um, not necessarily these. But certainly the Thingiverse version um, that came out about four months before the first sale of these arrived. Something I, uh, something I dug up. So, uh, although these are really nice prints, these are cool. If you don't have a printer, these are pretty awesome. Uh, if you do have a printer, hit me up because I have the STL of something very, very, very similar that I'm happy to share. Uh, but the smoke machine is because I am going to, uh, create a PVC end. I've already... I've already drawn it, and I just need to print it, but a PVC-ended version where I can hook up compressed air to blow the air through the center and then shoot the smoke around the outside to show the, the whatever, the vortice of the smoke coming through the Venturi inlets. If that all sounds stupid to you, uh, I, don't, I don't blame you because it sounds a little stupid to me, but all I'm doing is showing how much air is actually being, uh, how much, how much vortices, the vortice that's being created by the Venturi action of this particular nozzle. I just want to show what the smoke does. And smoke and air, or smoke and water, they're the same thing, right? So it's just, it's just thicker. They flow the same. So that's what's up. That's what I'm doing. May, you are new. Well, welcome. It is an RFG. This one's an RFG. The one that I print is a... Oh, uh, whatever. It's a nozzle. 
I just print a nozzle that has a little bit of Venturi and a little bit of Ordice action. That's what I print. It's available on Thingiverse. My modded version is too. So you can go look at the original. That was that was there a long time ago. And then you can look at the modded version that I shared. Well, newish. Let's just say lurky. I like that. Lurky's cool. What's up, Cole? I like all these the new names I'm happy with. That makes me happy. I don't normally I don't normally uh I don't normally beg for subscrib subscriptions, but, uh, you know, I have at it. Yeah, that's a prime, a prime. Give me a little thumbs up. Give me a little subscription. That's the last time I'll say that. So, Sawfish TV loves some Vortex generators. Who doesn't? They're on the tops of some Subarus, too. And if people want to look fancy, they put them on top of their Honda Civics, too. A little different, but whatever. Still Vortex generators. Planes, put them on... The sum of surfaces just to disrupt the air that's coming across their surfaces, which allows them better control. Whatever, a vortice is a vortice. Or if you've seen some of those airplane videos where they show them flying through clouds and then off the wingtips are vortices. Same thing. That's kind of how it works. Oh, B. Yeah. Oh, apparently I have some Xbox action going on here, too, and I've been invited to a party, which is not me. That's my kid. Let's see. Long story. Let's just... Uh, da, 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 da. Random smoke. Random smoke generator. Roger that. RSG. Do you SolidWorks Black Panther... Or Black Pearl, sorry. Uh, I made a Black Panther reference with a uh, 410 nanometer earlier in the week, so I apologize. Do I, I don't use SolidWorks. I use anything free. I think I have an education version of SolidWorks floating around here somewhere. Um, but I've not spent enough time with any of the software packages to to be any good with them at all. Uh, I just use free stuff, and it seems to be working out for me so far. Schnozzle. Oh, I like schnozzle. Velozzle. Schnozzle velozzle. How are you? What's up, Bert? How are you, sir? All right. I also remember STL free. Let me know. Not this one. This is theirs. But the one that's printing over there, making noise, hit me up. Um, Shroom Savers, also free. If you hit me up uh, and you want the uh, STL, I'm more than happy to provide this. I have sent out actually quite a few of them, and I think that's awesome. I've even seen pictures come back of those that are printed, which makes me happy. Remember, this is a stupid little shroom cup, holds a single mushroom. It grows out from there. It, it, I, I also send these out with frag plugs in here. But the lid that my kid designed, which is super sweet... He did that in on shape, which is a cool web-based design software. I dig that thing. What's up, Algae Warrior? 3D printing out the way. So that's why we got the smoke machine out. We're going to shoot a little air through, capture a little smoke, and just try to... I'm going to try to get an LED in there, too. This thing has LEDs, but that's not gonna, that's not going to work for me. Uh, I talked about this. When we were talking about battery stuff, I talked about this thing. And this is a pure sine wave, and that matters. Pure sine wave inverter that has a cigarette lighter plug. I used this thing. I can show you. I used this thing last weekend. That's why I didn't stream. Uh, at Chincoteague. Had this thing plugged into my motorhome. Actually, while, the kid, while we were driving. Um... And create a good juice so the kids could charge and do whatever they were doing in the back. This thing works really well. So if you need yourself a pure sine wave inverter, just a little guy, right? This thing's 300 watts. I wouldn't run it at 300 watts because it can run like mad, like a light at 100%, right? But uh, pretty happy with this. There's several of these out there. They have a big one too. I have a big, big, big one of these in my motorhome. I really like it. This one's pretty cool. battery so i haven't finished the battery nor have i drawn the schematics that i promised and i will i promise promise 
So what I did do is I grabbed another back connector and I'll hook it up to the gator clips, the other end, so I can attach a, a, an off, off storage battery to the battery, right? To give me more power. Like if I needed to plug it into my car or something to keep my pumps running, not my heater, that's not going to work, but to keep my pumps running, uh, to keep air moving, that kind of thing. This will give me additional battery, like, in parallel, just to be able to add more if I need it. I got, I really didn't like that whole spin the wires together thing inside the box, and that was never going to be its final state. So I got a cool little terminal block meant for, um, meant for model trains that will work perfectly for this use. So I got to install that. And I have all of the sockets that I need to be able to power 12 and 24 volt utilities. So I'll put, I'll put two of the larger sockets for 24 volt, two of the larger sockets for 12, and two of the smaller for, uh, no, two of the larger for 24, two of the larger for 12, and then two of the small for 12 as well. So you'll be able to power any damn pump you have with this box. And if you get the Ecotech step up to 36, you'll be able to run the pump off of uh, off of this thing. Now look, I've had two people hit me up, and they were like, "You gonna sell this? You gonna make these things and sell them?" I mean, you know how I roll, right? I'm really not all about making money. Uh, but if I mean, and this would be a pain, and this is gonna be a couple hundred bucks, maybe. I don't know. I need to price it out. I need to try to get it at Ecotech's price, because I think that would be fair. And I need to be able to find a, a reliable battery source, which I think I have, and I have some coming, and I'm going to make up a couple packs and see what I got going on. But if you're interested, you know I'm slow. If you need me to sell you something, it's going to take freaking forever for that to happen. But if you're interested in having one of these multi-purpose, charge your phone, charge everything, run an inverter, whatever kind of battery packs, just let me know. And I'll see what I can do. And I'm slow. Really slow. I sent out like six packages of these this week. I'm slow. It takes a while. I can speed those up a little quicker. That's what I got going on with the battery. Let me, let me catch up. Let me catch up. Software add-in that could show you... Oh, yeah. Um, if you have... Oh, that's interesting. If you have SolidWorks, I'm, I'm happy to provide the SDL. And then you could do a little modeling, a little simulation, and that'd be pretty sweet. Let me know. Hit me up. Hit me up on Instagram. If, you, if, if, that's, not some, if that's something you want to do, I'll totally share the SDL. Whatever. I'll share the SDL no matter what. It doesn't matter what, what you've got going on. If you need it, I'll share it. Hey, casual reefing. Uh, I got a 70 watt just chilling in my uh, motorhome waiting for this. So I'm one step ahead of you. That was the next add-on. Oh, I let the cat out of bag. Yeah, so what I did is if you, if you know how I've rolled, if you've seen the stuff that I've posted, I've got 400 watts on the roof that I put up there. Ran down to a uh, solar charge controller automatic transfer switch. That powers two lithium iron phosphate batteries. The automatic transfer switch is also an inverter, a pure sine wave inverter. So my fish tanks are powered by solar during the day and then powered by grid electricity at night. And the batteries are the UPS. So I got you. I just rubber banded my St. Thomas but not sure how that's going to work out. Bert, you got people around you to 3D print? Because Ocean Box Designs has released all their cool softy, um, softy savers. And there's two different versions. There's one that's free and one that's like four or five bucks. Uh, I bought that one because I want to support what uh, Ocean Box Designs is doing. And then check out the free one as well. If you, I mean, if you don't have anybody near you that can print, Hit me up. Let me know. I was the one chatting with you about the broken 3D printer. Oh, 
Did you get your kids to fix that up? I know you were giving them room, and I dig that. Giving them time. What's up, Chris? Dibs on two. <laughs> you want to buy two batteries, Lynn? What are we up to? We're up to five batteries. I mean, it's easy enough to add solar. Solar is super, super easy. You just got to buy, you buy the panel. I'm not buying a panel to send it to you. You buy your own panel. If we do this and I sell a battery and that battery makes it to your house, because again, I'm slow, then buy your solar panel. Then you send me money. <laughs> don't, don't prepay me. That's not going to work. <sighs> photons of photons. Roger Burt, hit me up. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me get a let me get a battery source. I gotta spend. Uh, I'll spend a little bit of my money on uh, on some lithium iron phosphates and some on some battery management systems, and it should still fix fit in the same little toolbox. I think that toolbox is sweet. It's neat, right? It's nice and clean. All right. Yeah, so last weekend was ooh, last weekend was goofing off. How come I won't open? How come this one? This one won't. There we go. Did a little quadcopter action. I was goofing off at Chincoteague with the family, and that was pretty sweet. So uh, I was like, we. I went outside. It was super dark, and had good stars. I forgot what good stars look like. <clears throat> the. Uh, this is the International Space Station. How come my mouse isn't working? What the crap? This is the International Space Station flying over. This is something else, and I don't know what it was. I don't know what this is. They kind of look like they were spinning. If you look at them real close. Pretty cool, though, right? This is a sweet iPhone app called... Oh, there's thunder out there. I just got a lightning warning. Um, Nightcap. Shocker. Uh, N-I-G-H-T-C-A-P, one word, does a really good job of long exposure. Um, check that out if you're interested in space. Space is real, people. Uh, that is the design of the, that's my modified version of the Vortex generating nozzle from Thingiverse. So all I did is punch out the center of that of that design. There used to be a little center hub in there that would restrict flow. All I did is punch that thing out. And the 3D printing goodies. And me being stupid. And oh, oh, we had to pump you up. The pumps. Uh, that is the nozzle that I printed. <sighs> this Kessel. First. I wish Kessel would create, and I, I was talking about this on Instagram a couple weekends ago. I wish Kessel would create a light that was a larger format light. So you wouldn't have to do this beam expansion to try to get it to cover the whole tank because that's just not going to that's not gonna work for me. It works for other people. I get it. Whatever. People dig it. I dig the spectrum. I dig the simplicity. But I don't dig the form factor. So, eh, what's nice about this light is the, the light with the stupid Wi-Fi dongle that you need to be Wi-Fi is the same price as other elite lights. So that's cool. Because if you buy the A360X with a stupid dongle, it's like $120 more than comparable lights, which is just dumb. I don't think it should be that way. But that's just me. This is the Ocean Box Design Softy Saver. This is the fancy one that you got to pay a little bit of money for. I did. I like supporting, like I said. This will hold... Th you could scale that, too, um, to kind of fit on any kind of plug that you want or tile. How to solder. Frag tank is still kicking. I am not... I'm not out of the woods. I had some problems. So I uh, recently checked all my dosing. And my strontium was clogged up big time. 
So I changed how my how my uh, tubing is configured to keep that from happening. What else? Um, my eco balance wasn't dosing like I thought it was because I had a leak in one of the Murloc connectors. So I replaced all that tubing and fixed that. So now I'm back on track. I'm wondering if I need to start dosing Cipro again. I'm a little concerned. But I'm going to watch the tank and see how it goes. We will see. Here's some idiot in a minivan trying to hit me. Well, the Tesla, oh, the Tesla got a sweet video today. Was sitting at Home Depot, and I heard this pow, like somebody hit something. You know, you hear that noise, you hear that crash sound, you're like, what the hell was that? I look around, I don't see anything, and I look in front of me, and there's this dude with his passenger window just gone, and a piece of wood laying on the, on the ground. I was like, how the hell did that happen? And I was like, ding! The car's been recording the whole time. So I hit the save button and I played it back. Total, I'll post it because it's, it's magical. It's glorious. It's unfortunate. That guy lost a window and he was pretty pissed. Uh, SpaceX did another landing. They're creeping up on 80 landings of a uh, orbital class rocket, which is freaking amazing. People watch some of these videos. They're like... Uh, CGI, that's not really happening. Look, they launch that freaking rocket into space, and the rocket comes back and lands on a boat that nobody's driving. That's legit. That's a nozzle I bought, because I want to know, and knowing is half the battle. Uh, my ridiculously complicated, stupid-looking frag tank. Uh, with these awesome GHL Metris LX7s, which I love. They just sit there and they work with a big fan in the back. This is my dosing. I drop it down between lights. I have one, two, three controllers on this tank because I, li I like comparing controllers. So that's what all this junk is. I don't know. It's interesting. And then fuge light, cheapy fuge light up there, keeping the uh, refugium happy. Big name sellers fiddling with color. This is how they took it. And I know this combination of, of filter and lights. And I compensate for this because that looks bad. This is what it really looks like. If you see blue rocks uh, like that, they generally should be light blue, purpley gray when you've color corrected. There's this cool thing in photography called a gray card. If you hold it up while you're taking a picture of your coral, and then that's your white balance setting, try that. I don't like fake coral colors by big name sellers. It just bothers me. I'm old. I'm like, you guys, you kids, get off your meddling kid, get off my grass. It's like that. Uh, I'm selling these or giving them away. Hit me up if you're close. These are worldwide corals. I don't know. Something green. Something funky. I got this from Budman a while back, and it grows like freaking crazy, and I got too many of them, so hit me up. What is it? Worldwide coral. I don't know. Go check it. Wait. Can I see? I don't know. Um, the display's still doing okay. You see that little engineer goby right there? Poking its head out. All the softies in here are just freaking really, really happy-ish. I don't know. We're going to keep going. We're going to see what happens. This is Bahama Llama business right here. That's his weeping willow. And then he had an SPS rag he threw at me when I picked up this stuff when I drove through his town. Um, it is an, an, an Acropora. It's some name thing, casual reefing. I can't remember what it's called. But these are happy. These are growing like crazy. Monty's. Is this, is this Instagram recap? This is like watching your aunt's slides from vacation in the 70s. Dogs. Seriously, look at that dog. That's Lucy. She's like, bro, just love me. The one, the one behind her, this is Leo. He doesn't give a damn. He's like, where's my toy at? More of those. This is the display. You just saw that. All right, that's enough of this. Oh, let's talk pumps. 
Let's talk chat real quick. Oh, shoot. I just made that go away. Thanks, Great Bearded Reef. That's nice of you. Likes. Don't they do spotlights for stages, concerts? Well, they do a lot of, they do LED stuff, or they do laser stuff too, or fiber optics. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just not a beam expander kind of guy. Have your cherry bomb fragged. And, oh, thank you, Lynn. I'm not ready for that yet. I'm not, I'm not putting anything in that tank that I'm going to kill because I just, too many, right? Once I watched your, what was that thing? Home wrecker. When I watched the home wrecker slowly dissolve, that pissed me off. But thank you. We're gonna wait a while until I'm totally cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Some of those lights. You would rather have the Stratton. I would like to test the Stratton. They weren't interested in letting me try one. I'm just gonna point that out. I was all, I'll pay shipping. You send it to me, I'll pay, and I'll pay to ship it back. Send me a demo unit, please, because you know you got them laying around. They were like, no, but do you want an ICP test? And if you agree to the ICP test, IC, IP, ICP test, you have to post five <laughs> posts about your experience with the ICP test and share it with your friends and tell them how awesome it is. Seriously, I just wanted to pay money to get your light so I could play with it. I think they're doing the right thing. I think that's the right direction. They have to do something because my personal opinion is T5 is going to be regulated out in nine years or less because last year I said 10. Jeremy Phillips, you want to know how to fix? You want to know how to fix photos? We can do that. We can do that for free. What's that app called? We don't need to use Photoshop. I use Photoshop, but you don't need to use that. Use Snapseed, and I'll do a I'll do a Snapseed tutorial on how to correct that crap. Snapseed, cool. Go get that. I'm gonna try that. What are we talking about? true <laughs> don't name them don't name them slime ball totally algae warrior that's it it is totally a slime ball um hit me up space invader that space invader is doing really well i'm so happy i didn't kill the softies i was really worried about that or the not uh, the lps i was i was it was not cool are you do, are you still planning on doing a brs so i've already done a brs 1.1 mod with um with new motors that run DC. I'm I might be moving away from that. I don't know. Maybe I can come up with a retrofit for um stepper motors, but this this is what I'm playing. After I play with what was I playing with? After I play with a battery, I'm going to um I'm going to peristaltics. And this is just a stunt peristaltic on a stepper to run with this stepper driver. Um dude i work with guy i've known for a long time a buddy of mine he's really good with microcontrollers he's a huge microcontroller nerd and i was like hey can you do this and I was, he's like yeah stupid he's right that kid is brilliant um so we're gonna do a little we're gonna do a little fiddling with this maybe maybe i could come up with a retrofit for a brs pump that'd be pretty cool those i like those pumps and they sell the replacement parts so I just don't like those AC motors that are in there. It'd be cool if they were DCs. Thank you, May. That's very nice of you. Thank you so much. And then tell me when you need help with that 3D printer. I'll hook you up. Amazon Utility. What happened to Hans and Franz? They still... Mm, you know, that's back in the day. Like button again. Thank you. Took your advice. Just order custom alley. Yes. J Fusion. Yes. I'm seeing a lot of those out there, and I'm digging it. Uh, I still have four. Three of them are over tanks. They haven't broken. I love them. 
a lot of people are starting to see the benefit of those 45. Maybe they're higher priced now. I think you can order them from Germany for 45 bucks. Prices went up a little bit, and they're not available in the U.S. right now. But you can still get hit them up. Hit them up on Ali. The manufacturer will talk to you and hook you up. Why oh, you say sponsorship? Sponsorship is too much work. Oh, you're talking about the ATI. Yeah, I agree. Lynn, I totally agree. But And you can also smell it on them, right? Whatever. As long as you're cool and open about it. I think if you're open about it, if you're like transparent about it, that's cool. Be transparent. That way you don't have to go, mm, why are they sharing this? Just be open about it. There's an app called Polish. It's really good at photo editing corals. Is it on both platforms, Lynn? Because I know how you roll. I use an old Mac Jack 1200's utility pump doubles as a heat. <laughs> That's true. Maxi jets are awesome. I have a, I have one performing duties in my tank that I don't normally share, but it is the pump that maintains suction, um, maintains flow from my frag tank to the sump because I don't trust my overflow method. It actually sits there and pulls on the overflow from the frag tank down to the sump. It is not good. Yeah, Coral, or uh, Carlos, it is a slime ball. I like how you're smiling there. Let's see. Yeah, Snapseed. I want to try setting up a DIY Maxi Jeff setup with those two Maxi Toaster units. What's up, John Curry? Alley E bars, Black Pearl. There it is. 410, 424 fit. Tell me how that looks. Because that is the, that is the, uh, that's the Ecotech spectrum. That's how they roll. I bet that looks pretty damn good. They told me on Friday they were stocking back in the U.S. warehouse. I'm still waiting for mine. At the prior price, hopefully this week. Jeremy Phillips, you order stock or custom? Eighty-nine dollars for a custom Ali Express, including shipping. Can't beat that. That's a larger light, right? That's not. That's not the twenty-four. Is that the thirty-six? J Fusion. <clears throat> Polish. Please hold. I guess I could play this back and look. Right. I'm gonna look. Polish. I don't see it. Lynn, throw me a uh, throw me a link if you know that it's on iOS. Uh that's a eighty one watt. That's not really eighty one, it's thirty watts, but whatever. Wait, which one is that? I'm not gonna look. Is that the short one, the middle one, or the long one? Thirty six inch. Yeah, that's thirty watts. Eighty one if you drove them at hundred percent and they'd all pop. Alright, let's get to pumps. Y'all know I played with pumps, right? Um, so what I wanted to know was this pump worth the $100. And what, what I have decided, because I, thank you. That was quick. Thanks, Lynn. What I've decided is you're, you're paying for thicker plastic. You're paying for thicker plastic. And a longer cord, and that costs you um, sixty dollars more, which is interesting. Uh, so this is all right. Look at the video. The video is this. The video is this Amazon utility pump. Here's my thing with this pump. This pump is a hoss, right? This is Johnny Pump House. This thing is a beast. This thing has a strainer on the bottom to keep out the chunks. This thing, if you set it in your bucket, will suck it down all the way down to like a quarter of an inch. All, like all of the water is gone. Uh, if you put a check valve on this, then it won't flow back after you turn it off. The CJ does it too. But this thing is a beast. It will lift 32 feet. That hose I'm holding right there 
is a 15 footer and it is still coming out of there. I don't really know if it's going to go 32 feet because I didn't hook up a hose that far, but certainly it's going to go 20 feet. Like I said, that's 15 feet. If you're going to use this pump as a utility pump, here's my recommendation. First, flush it with fresh water when you're done. It does have stainless steel screws and a bolt, center bolt, for the impeller. I don't know how long they're going to last. I'm thinking about sticking this thing in a bucket and sticking it outside for a month and seeing what happens. Uh, I think that would be, I think that would be worthwhile. So, but anyway, when you're done with this pump, flush it out. Flush it out with fresh water. If you if you need water to go up three stories, this will this will totally get you there. Um, but when you first start pumping salt water through this thing, let it pump out like a half a gallon. Just flow out a little bit, just to make sure it's flushed out from the fresh water that still may be in there. It, if I turn it. I can hear, I think it's coolant in there. I don't know. I don't think it's coolant. I don't know what it is. But I suggest you both flush, fresh, with fresh when done, and flush with salt when you're moving salt water. Other than that, I have zero concerns of this pump. It has a beast of a cord. Everything is waterproof. The plastic is ridiculously powerful or strong. I dropped it. And it didn't do anything at all. It didn't even dent. Comes with a hose bib. Right? A hose will screw right on this. It's heavy. And it moves a hell of a lot of water. I'm totally comfortable with this thing. That's an Amazon pump. This thing will cost you $67. $67 for a beast of a pump. Flush it. I don't have any problems with it. And again, like I said, I'm going to stick this thing in a bucket of salt water and just see what's up. Other people are using this and similar pumps with no problems. But your mileage may vary, right? Remember, we're comparing against this thing. This thing's $100. This thing's not worth $100. Because <laughs> that's the CJ at 15 feet. This... Um, this thing is rated at uh, 12 feet. Is that right? 11 feet? Something like that. This is a $100 pump. It is disassemblable. Right? The bottom comes off. You see the impeller. It's just like all the other pumps that are like this with little impellers and whatever you need to move the water. It's $100, and it doesn't pump 15 feet. I don't know. That's not my thing, right? You know how I roll. I'm looking for, I'm looking for a, a bargain pump that can do what the big name things can do. Oh, it's got a nice long cord. That's what I could say about this. It doesn't have a lot of oomph. Um, uh, what was my? And I can tell you. So what they tell you is how much it'll pump at zero elevation. And they never share what it'll pump at max elevation. At max elevation, it will push 72 gallons per hour. I don't know what the hell this thing's rated for. You could look that up. The pump rating that they give you is, uh, is only for zero elevation. CJ pump at max, at 10 feet vertical. Oh, it's only good at 10 feet. Is going to give you 72 GBH. You got to expect that, right? That's not that's not the rating that they're going to share. That's a that's just a rating you got to find out for yourself. So I did not have threads for the little cheapy pump. So I put it I put the CJ first in the bucket just to show how many ripples it was uh, how much how much it was pushing out, right? And then I put the little green thing, the Ketsum, in there and turned it on. And it, it also, it did less. But here's, I was stupid. Its nozzle is bigger. Its outlet is bigger. So there was less pressure. So I was like, ah, oh, the Ketsum's going to suck. Nope, I was wrong. This is the Ketsum at 10 feet. Uh, no, wait, that's a CJ at 10 feet. That's all three of them. That's the Ked Summit 10 feet. 
that thing at 10 feet. Remember, this was what? seven? This was 572-ish, 577. This, um, this is 691. This pump is $37. So you have a choice between $100 and $37. And um, you'll be... The CJ people will be disappointed to know that the guts are the same. So you take out that impeller, you can see straight down this, it's all plastic, it's sealed. Um, by CJ people, I mean fan, fan peeps. Um, if you need a really small utility pump that can do what the $100 pump can do, this is absolutely your go-to. Now... It can't suck it down to like a quarter inch or a whatever, a couple millimeters like this one can. Can you tough that out for $37? I'll share a link, always a non-affiliate link, because that's how I roll. Just, just a regular old, if you want it, buy it link from Amazon. I was pretty happy with this thing. Let me catch up the chat. Those were the standard 470 24 inch bars. I could have had them custom made this time. Get them, yeah. Bake them yourself. It's super easy to do. 2410, 2420, 10450, 4. Oh, that's interesting. That's heavy 450. I'll bet that looks pretty good. Very cool. Have I seen the All for Reef powder? I haven't. Is it available in the U.S.? Because I used to use all for reef on my work tank, and then I stopped doing it because it was a pain to make. And then I just started doing water changes. Um, all for reef powder is a necessary move for Tropic Marin because they they suck at stocking. You can't get their stuff. BRS is out of their salt again. I don't know why people use that salt. Why you use salt you can't get? I don't get it. Other than, I mean, BRS used to use HW. That was their salt until they struck that deal with Tropic Marin. And I'm sure the margins are way better. And everybody just went that way. I don't get it. Get a salt that you can get. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all free powder. I'm cool with it. I like the idea of it. The stuff works. I don't know the price. And consider calc as a as a substitute as an option, and watch your tubing because your tubing may clog up. My Alpha Reef clogged up the tubing pretty easily. John Curry's waiting for the LEE bars to get back in stock. Cool. Um, Alpha Reef powder in the UK, ten liter worth powder, forty two. Ten liters. For 42 pounds. Uh, that's way cheaper than the liquid, so that's pretty cool. I got the 81 watt custom made for them for the cost of one Orphic bar. I got the 81 watt custom made from them for the cost of one Orphic. One Orphic. No, what was your 81 watt custom price, Cole? Did you get several 81 watt custom for the price of one Orphic? Because an Orphic's about a buck sixty-five, buck sixty, something like that. Came from Germany. Yeah, there you go. You can get it from Germany. Three-story reef tank overflow utility return. Mm -hmm. Mixing pump, but I don't know about rust or longevity in salt water. Which one? was thinking about using that for my mixing pump, but I don't know. Use this. This thing ain't going to rust. There's nothing to rust. It's all plastic. If this is the one you're talking about, use this, because I think you'll be fine with this. Oh, that's that nozzle that I talked about. Uh, and this is the... I adapted quarter inch to three-eighths to keep junk from clogging. That works out pretty well. The essentials in the fridge. A bunch of Dr. Tim's business. I 
I say beta fresh, but I know that's not it. Beta fresh. So using what as a mixing pump? Hit me up. Oh, you talk about the plastic one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the plastic one. 37 bucks. Done. Mixing all day long. Um, no rust. Isn't max head pressure usually when it's at zero? Max head pressure is generally defined in feet, Jeremy Phillips, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. And that is how high the pump will push water up. I don't know the diameter of a hose. I always use a garden hose. Valhalla, I'm not worried about stainless. Uh, titanium's fine as well, but as long as the stainless is cool, it's been passivated, and you can do that with citric acid. Um, the iron leaching out of the stainless is generally non-existent. I think it's just something I need to test. Uh, I agree with you. They could be replaced with titanium screws. This has no screws. Um, this is just all plastic. So this Ketsum, totally a good pump. Go with that. Uh, I'm thinking about, I see, I want to stick that thing out in a bucket and just let it run, see how long it lasts. I mean, there's people that are using these things one or two, at least two years with no problems. Uh, somebody posted today that they've had them running for two years and they both of them are running just fine. I don't know. I don't get a hundred bucks for this. I don't get it at all. It seems like, it seems like way too much money for what it is, for how weak it is too. Uh, Tropic Marin is good salt. I used it before it was BRS popular. Yeah, and it is. It's good salt, but you just can't get it. Good salt, to me, is something I can get. I agree with you, Lynn. It's good. But then BRS screwed that up for you. I'm telling you, they got a sweet deal, and the margins are just awesome. That's why they push it. I don't use Fritz. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't follow the popular salt crowd, right? Um, I use HW. HW is always in stock. It's a German salt, and it is less than Tropic Marin, and it mixes up fine. It's clean, and it was the BRS salt until the Tropic Marin deal. I've just always used HW. Um, as long as it's available, that's what I'll just keep buying. When plumbing to the return pump, you should start at the pump with the side pipe you're using to return for your right over there. Yeah, don't use these for returns, right? And I agree with you, Callie. Um, but these aren't return pumps. Don't use these as return pumps. These are totally utility pumps. If somebody's, I don't know why somebody would use this for a return pump. I don't get it. Get a DC, right? These are all uh, these are all AC utility pumps, just to move water from one place to another, not as a return. So, nice pipe you're using for return, two quarter inch return all the way, or should you come off the pump with a one and a quarter or one inch and reduce? Uh, for me, it doesn't matter. Other people may have more experience with this, but I mean, if, if you're going to come off at three quarter inch, come off the. I mean, if your if your return is three quarter inch. Run three-quarter inch right off the pump with an adapter. 150 gallons of salt a month. Yeah, I don't. I'm not even doing water changes right now. That's a hell of a lot of salt. Purple bucket in instant ocean. <laughs> There's a lot of people who... Uh, what's that guy's name? The dude that lives in Lakewood, Ohio. Friend of fans. He runs instant ocean. That's all he runs. There's whatever. Salt. S the, the salt hype is, that's real. You talk about salt, and you talk about, like, pumps. You talk about CJ. You talk negative about that, right? You talk negative about Tropic Marin, about how Bulk Reef Supply says it's the best or whatever. You talk about that at all. It's like you're talking about somebody's mama. Man, your mama's so fat. She, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like that. It's like mama jokes with these people. Use what works. Use what you can get. I know I'm an old man. I got old man opinions. Two custom, 180. Yeah, see? There you go.
two custom. Uh, those are the 24, 36, 48 inch lights. That's a good price. That's a lot. That's a lot of light for 190 bucks. Just like, I don't know. Reef breeder sells them. Same damn lights. Everybody's okay with that. Catch it up. Four seventy standard coal. Four seventy standard is popular grow warehouse in Germany, as well as two customs from China for under two hundred bucks total. That's kick ass. You'll love those lights. Those are good lights. Oh, somebody just dropped me a super chat. I'm not even there yet. Thank you. Gonna run two GHL sixty two hundreds with two bars. Coal, run with sixty two hundreds. Um, 470 and 420. The GHLs will have 450 cover. So get 470 to widen out the right, widen out the right side and get some 420s. Just do every other. Uh, and that'll fatten up that GHL real nice. Canadian funds. We go in natural seawater when my tank is built. So baller. It's such a baller move. I'm going to walk down, and I'm going to get a couple buckets of seawater, and I'm going to head back up. What you do is you throw this pump. Throw this. <laughs> this thing is really heavy. Throw this pump. Throw this pump in the ocean. And pump it up to your house. That would be a way to go. Does say 15 feet level distance, mess with head height. Does say 15 feet level distance, mess with head height. We have a 15 foot run before a 5 foot rise. Yes, that will mess with head distance a little bit because you're going to develop friction inside of the tube, the pipe, before it does a 15 foot run. 15 foot run before a 5 foot run. No, you'll be fine. So, yeah. I don't know, May, what kind of pump are you looking at? I mean, if you're looking at something like this, it will do that. I mean, it just kind of depends on how much you want to move. But a five-foot rise, you're going to drop off a little bit. What? Well, whatever, you'll be okay. Is Taylor, is that Australian money? I don't know what that is. I've got to look that up. Pick a salt and stay with it. Pick a salt that you can get every time you want salt, then stay with it. you got to put that thing in the middle there. Pick a salt that you can always get and stick with it. What's up, Juan? Exactly. You already said it. You beat me to it. See, I'm the slow reader, Callie. Jason Fox, Mike Paletta. Yeah. Yeah. Just get a salt. Juan loves his CJ stuff. See? I'm not going to talk about your mama, Juan. Tropic Mirror works for me, just can't get it. That's right. Why? I mean, others will work for you, too. I don't know why you want to want to use something that uh, you can't get. That's just how I feel. You need a P.O. box so we can send you real beers instead of virtual beers. That's awesome of you. Thank you so much. But all my LFS have Fritz, so I think I'm going to switch. If you, yeah, see? If you can get it, get it. I got you, Green Plaid. And how you doing? I didn't say hi. I think it comes down to affordability. If you ever got burned by one, Incident was horrible for my giant corals were dying left and right. Yeah, I wonder. And I'm going to look back later and see what you wrote, Lynn, because even though you retract it, it still captures it. Boop, boop. Um, Incident Ocean. Yeah, so the, the salt, the great salt debate, I don't, I don't know. If you can get it, stick with it. That's it. doesn't matter what it is. Use what you use. None of them are best. Use what you can use. Uh, use what you can get. Just wanted to say, uh, what's up, Jay Sanchez? I'm 
I'm back to no water changes, too. What's up, Cam? Aussie money. I got to look up Aussie money. Thanks, dude. Mortens. See, now you're just playing. Now you're, being, now you're just being that guy. Now you're being that guy. Where'd you send a link? Did you send something to me, Lynn? You didn't send anything to me. <clears throat> oh, you sent a link to the chat. Gotcha. So, pumps. I hope my thingy doesn't go off again. So, like I've been saying on Instagram, uh, it's your money, not theirs. And if people get defensive about their stuff, remember, it's like you're talking about their mama. That's how they're taking it. And if, they're talk and if they take it that way, then you, you have to try to understand where they're coming from, why they are so crazy about their stuff. They're like, nah, -uh, you're wrong. Cool. Whatever. How you know? Because you know they didn't try. You know they didn't test. You know they didn't go buy things and see what will work for them. Whatever. If they get all defensive, check out. Because it's just not worth it, right? This is going back. I don't need this pump. Because I can do the same thing with this $37 pump. And, be, and, and smoke for effect. You're welcome. Uh, that's free of charge. This thing works. This is Kedsum. And this is the bigger one. This is the, uh, it says 80 watts. I don't remember that it pulled 80 watts, but I'll have to check that. But this is the big Kedsum. And this thing is cheap. And it works great. And it outperformed the $100 CJ. And then again, if you need a hoss, the Amazon commercial, one-third horsepower, Blows water like mad. Just make sure you flush it. Because I haven't long-termed it. I know it works. I know it'll move water. I'm not at all concerned about moving it from a 55-gallon drum outside or wherever the hell you got your water mixed up. In your garage, in your basement, up to your tank. I have absolutely no, no concerns with that pump at all. Just make sure you flush it. Flush it when you first run salt water through it just run it to a bucket just half gallon or so maybe a gallon and then flush it with fresh when you're done just to make sure yeah Juan black bucket Moki did that same thing right the alkalinity is really really high is there a DC style pump like those utility pumps not that I'm aware of uh, I use, oh, you could use the big j -bos. There are people using the big DC j -bos as utility pumps, and they're working fine. I haven't done it. I can only talk to the j -bo I have in my tank as a return, and it works just fine. Um, but seek others' opinions, their direct opinions. I don't want to speak for them, but there are people out there doing it. <clears throat> I just hate salt that leaves that brown scum. Fritz Blue was as bad as Instant Ocean. I tend to stick with Aquaforest. That's a I know like the dude who got me into reefing, Shane. He uses that stuff. He loves he loves Aquaforest uh, when he can get it. Right. That's that also has an availability thing at times. But again, whatever you can get, whatever you trust, whatever you can get. Knowing it's half the battle. Nobody's ever asked what the other half is. Oh, Lynn's, oh, Lynn's dropping it in here. <laughs> I got my second shot, right? Because I trust, I trust, I trust the vaccines. I trust, I trust the vaccine I got, and one other. Um, ugh. Some of the stuff in the news. So, <clears throat> I 
I had zero side effects. I had zero symptoms. My body didn't react at all to the second shot. So now I want to go get an antibody test and just see what's up to see if I uh, see if my body respond, responded as it should have. I had no response to the second. I was bummed. I was like, man, I want to be sick. I want to know it's working. Didn't happen. What's the best way to go back to two-part after all for Reef? I can't get it, and I'm about to run out. See, Tropic Marin, come on. For whatever reason, HW can ship stuff to the United States, but Tropic Marin can't produce enough to send it here? I don't get it. But anyway, the best way to go back to two-part. <sighs> Turn off dosing of your All for Reef. And then know what your 24-hour drop in alkalinity is. So turn it off. So measure alkalinity. And turn off dosing all at the same time. 24 hours later, measure your alkalinity. That's your 24-hour drop. Then go to one of those cool reefing calculators. Drop in your two-part with that 24-hour drop. And you should be dialed in. There should be no ill effects. I would start like 75% of what that recommended dose is and then just raise it up. That way you don't do any spikes or anything like that. Does that make sense? Matt, let me know. Yeah, Aquaforce has treated... I know people at Aquaforce has treated them well. What's up, Dar Sanchez? Have you seen the Jabo lights? I haven't. Are they cool, or are they just another light? When you test a whole lot of lights, here's what sucks. When you test a whole lot of lights, you, you get... I don't know how to explain it. I'm, you get easily, you're easily disappointed by lights. So lights will come out, and I'm, I'm like, whatever. What's new? Let's come out with some new technology. Let's come out with some new ideas. Let's come out with some new things. Like Castle. Castle's just more of the same. It's just bigger. Oh, look, it's bigger. Oh, look, it's like $800. Um, however much that thing is. I, I, want, I want new technology. I want micro LEDs. I want this panel that you can't even tell has LEDs in it because it's just one big gigantic panel of lights. That's what I want. I want something new. I want something that I can. I like the. I like what Ecotech did with the with the pro and the blue. I want to be able to just buy the spectrum I want without having to turn down some of the other diodes. I I well, do I want that? I'm not sure I want that. It kind of depends on what color you want, because I really like the Metris, right? It's not too blue. It's more natural looking and it's easy to shoot. So I don't know. I don't know what I want. I just want new technology. I want something that doesn't doesn't tell me it's like more of the same. I don't see J-Bo lights. Oh, the AL-150? Fish Street's got it. Uh, that's a lot of money. Why are we going to buy... Hold on. Let me do my... Let me do my super douchey telegram quick review of the AL-150. Is that what we're talking about? Is that the one we're talking about? Nope. Hard pass. 120 watts. 128 watts. That's with all lights ablazing. Just get the, just get the noob psych. I don't even know how to say the name of that light. And it's significantly less money than the Jabo, and it's going to have uh, it's going to have the same power at spectrum 128 watts that means it's like a 70 or 80 watt light at spectrum that you're going to use just get the new you probably get better support out of that too Filipino reefers here I said it right this time uh, uh 15 minutes north of man is going on three years. No water changes. There you go. You can do that, Cole. I did that. I'm going to. I'm going to go back to that if I get my tank back in shape. <clears throat> Looking for a pump to run my mixing station and to my tank. 50 gallons mixing barrel, 300 gallon display. How far away? 
and up. Second shot tomorrow. There you go. Second shot Tuesday. Juan, you have any uh, adverse effect? What'd you get? Pop up one. Pop up one and one trot and out. Let me be honest. I need easy reefing. So one pour is best for me because I don't always remember. Yup. First shot club. Arm hurts. Us. Yeah, an arm hurt. <laughs> yeah, Kyle. Uh, Lynn, you're getting your first or second at the end of the month. Notifications never go off. Tank uses J boat. I like those DC pumps. I, whatever. That J boat DC, that's my second, and I dig it. What's up, Adam? Filipino reefer. What's up? How come this is, uh, how come this is held? That's weird. Holla. Sorry for the bad type and watch TV. I have a question about dosing since I heard you mention it. What's best, dosing one time in 24 hours or multiple times? Uh, Jay Sanchez, uh, as often as you can, split that dose up. I dose on the hour or half hour. It just depends on what I'm dosing. Or I dose every 10 minutes or so. One of them, the calc. Calc is dosed every about 10 minutes. Um, if I could, I would dose calc continuously. Um, but if you're going to break up, break it, if you're going to break up, well, it just depends on what you're dosing. Really. If, if you're dosing supplements, if you're dosing trace, if you're dosing alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, that kind of stuff, break that dose up, especially alkalinity and calcium. I, uh, don't do once a day because then you'll spike and then you'll drop off and then you'll spike and you'll drop off. Dosing it throughout the day is, uh, certainly more stable. Noob Psych K7. Them came across the J-Bows. Uh, you, did you get them? Black Pearl, did you buy it? Because I really like that Noob. I, that Noob had a great spectrum, and I don't need Wi-Fi. I don't need the light on my phone. I don't. That's one of those things. Like pumps? I don't need pumps on my phone. Uh, I don't need lights on my phone. I mean, it's cool to do it, but if I could just set it up, like the noop is with the little remote thingy, that's fine. Or if I could just, like I have my Mitris and my uh, XR30 on my phone, but do you really need it? Because you shouldn't be fiddling with it anyway. You should set it to a spectrum that you trust and then leave it alone. If it's off your phone, you're not going to fiddle with it. True UV, casual reefing. Are you asking me if the noop had true UV? Oh, crap. You got to scroll down my Instagram. I can't remember. I want to say no, but that's a guess. Scroll down my Instagram. You'll see it. I tested that thing. Kay was super cool and sent it to me. How would you go about adding LE bars to a 220? That's a good question. Would I do 224s and just bolt them together with some 10 millimeter extruded aluminum? <clears throat> How long is a 220? I don't know tank dimensions. All right, Black Pearl, you let me know how them JBOs work out. If you are you in the U.S., let me know if you're in the U.S. Uh, Kelly, that, that will work for you. That big j -Bow pump, that'll work for you. I'm sorry, I'm reading. This is a little boring for you. Yeah, I've used the j -Bows on both my tanks without issues. Five years of the same DCC. Yeah, I've got the power heads. I've got, um... Uh, what are those the ones that look like uh, the ones that look like the AIs? I have those in my frag tank and they work great. They're easy to clean too. Mixing station is twenty feet away, same level. Oh, that's easy. <clears throat> yeah, if you're gonna go with this pump as a mixing station pump to push water, just 
Take a look at this. It'll work. It does the same thing, only a little bit better. What's up, Chris? What did we talk about? We talked about we talked about batteries. We talked about smoke machines. We talked about nozzles. We talked about shroom savers. We talked about pumps. We talked about all sorts of stuff. Opinion on the Reef Breeders V2. Look at Cole. You can't you can't throw that out there with an LOL at the end. Come on. Is it the big light or those the stupid bars? Reef Breeders V2. Because the stupid bars are the LE bars. Oh. Oh, the Photon V2? I haven't used it. BRS did a decent review. Of course they did their par per whatever. What was the par per, par per dollar? Dollar per par? Whatever that test was. But they ran their lights at 100%. So that the test is worthless as far as I'm concerned. Because like, like only three people in the world run their lights at 100%. All channels. Sanjay being one of them. But... Uh, I mean, they had good spread numbers too, right? If I remember right. BRS's review showed that light was pretty good. I have no idea what that light looks like at Spectrum, right? What kind of power it's putting out, what kind of numbers it's showing. But their spread was good, so there's no reason why... How much was that light? I should buy this damn light. I like its form factor. 400 bucks. Wattage in the cottages is only 140. Really? So it's probably 110, 100 watts, 110 watts at, at, at Spectrum. I mean, you could do better. But still, as a single light solution for the right size tank, the price is decent. Sorry, catching up. up uh, Pfizer. See, there you go. That's what I got. Yeah, my arm hurt after the second shot, but I didn't have any symptoms. I, I'm telling you, I was bumped. Second shot was killer. May. I didn't get that. Every once in a while, my Prusa, Prusa, i3 mark whatever the crap 3D printer goes, whoa, something's wrong, and it resets its positioning. It goes back to printing again. Lynn wants J&J. &J. Heard reaction was the best from that, but that work will give that one. Hit me up, Lynn. Let's talk about that. <clears throat> see, power heads. Yeah, they're cheap and last. Noop doesn't have true V, UV. Very few, very few lights have true UV. Very few. Kessel. GHL. There's one other I'm forgetting. Ecotech don't. Kessel and GHL. Black Pearl. Man. All right. What I offer for you, for what I, man, you're up late. What I, what I offer for uh, people in the U.S. is if you buy a light and you want to know what's up with the spectrum, I'll test it, send it to me. It'll come back with, it's, if it's something I haven't tested, it'll come back with a gift card inside because I appreciate it, um, and I'll pay your shipping. Yeah, SLW, thank you, Casual Reefing. That is the pump. I like that pump. Wish Doser 2.2 wasn't so specific. Just spent 50 bucks on four replacements for my KHDs. Wish Doser 2.1. I will, I will, so 50 bucks for four replacements. So that was heads and tubing, right? That wasn't just, or was that? No, no, that was just tubing. Yeah, I'll f Kyle, I'll find that one day. I'm in pharma. I can find that tubing. I just haven't looked. 
J Bo returned on a big tank. CJ sounds like a <laughs> turbine engine. That's the wrong spelling. And uh, on reef crest, that's funny. I think you can find a light that matches the reef breeders for less money. I'm pretty sure. The gift card is not the price of the light, because that's funny. Sarah got very swollen, painful arm from J&J. Yeah, I mean, that happens. Um... And I, I really wouldn't, mom, I wouldn't expect symptoms. I know there are, I, I, I'm aware of the symptoms she said. Um, I would expect it to be similar to what I felt with my first shot of Pfizer. Uh, efficacy is a different story. And those other things. That's cool. Let me know. How, let me know. I'm interested in in seeing your experience with that light. I'm sure it's fine. Oh yeah, eleven bucks. Ugh. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, that two point five, two point five. Was it two point five ID? Two point five was. Uh, I'd have to measure it to see. 2.5 will last a little longer than 2. 2.5 is difficult to find. I can tell you that. All right. That's all I have. What time is it? Oh, I've been going over an hour and 15. I'm still 3D printing some goodies. We talked about pumps. We talked about 3D printing stuff. We talked about batteries. We talked about all sorts of stuff and dosing and salt and talking about your mama and your your your, your mama your mama uses tropic marin salt. Just get right to it. That's what I said. You heard me. I didn't stutter. Your mama uses tropic marin salt. That might come back and bite me. I've had people say that people are gonna put out a hit on me because of the stuff I share. That's just rude. I mean, it's funny. Come on. I think we all have options, right? We can all spend our money, not their money, our money like we want to, right? I have good equipment, and I have cheap equipment, and I like learning the difference between the two and how uh, how I can make... What the hell was that? How I can make briefing a little less expensive. Um, and I think that's worthwhile. People seem to like those AliExpress bars. That was shared with me, right? Dude's all, hey, check these lights out. They're pretty cool. So I bought one, and then I bought three more, and then I started sharing them. And I was like, then I put them in my oven, and I made custom ones. And then dude's all, hey, if you hit them up, if you message them, they'll make you custom lights. And I was like, sweet. And then I started sharing that. That's cool. There's other equipment out there, like these pumps. These pumps were shared with me. Not, not specific models, but it was like, yo, the CJ is really expensive for what it is. Go check out a couple of these other ones, and you'll see what you see. I was like, cool, I'll go do that. Sure enough, that was the case. What's the other half of the battle? What the hell you do with the information, right? Because you can learn something, but if you all hung up protecting your mama, then you're not going to do anything good with the information. I think uh, I'm in a cool position. I feel lucky to be in a position to be able to do some of the testing that I do. Um, I mean, my mom's on here other than my mom. I don't have a mama to protect. I have good equipment. I have bad equipment. I have awesome equipment. I have reliable equipment. I have equipment that is broken. 
but I'm not going to. It's a, it's a weird thing. There's got to be a term for it, right? What is the phrase? What is the term? What is the whatever for when you are a consumer and you publicly crawl up the arse of, of, a, of a manufacturer, of a vendor, so far that you're dangling from the bowl and you get defensive if you talk about them. There has to be a phrase for that, right? What's, what's that called? Besides fanboy, because there has to be a legit, I don't know what that's called, but I just don't get it. Because then if you talk smack while they're dangling from their beholes, they get all defensive, like you're talking about their mama. I don't get it. Go learn. Go try things. Go break things. Go when COVID's over, come hang out. We'll blow some stuff up, right? We'll we'll ruin some equipment to learn how it works, that kind of thing. Or we'll just try different things and compare. And we'll bust out the spectrometer. We'll make a party out of it. Paul up, pal. That's super cool of you. Thank you so much. Seriously, I really appreciate that. So the other half of the battle, casual reef keeping, is what do you do with the information, right? Did you learn something? Maybe. Did you do something with what you learned? Or did you just get defensive about it? What's the best bet for Powerhead in the Evo 13.5? Is that 13.5 gallon? I don't make any money from all this. This is an SLW5. See, I could have just reached back here and grabbed this one. I couldn't remember what it was. SLW5 from Jabo. This is a sweet little pump. It's tiny. If that's a 13.5 gallon, give it a shot. <clears throat> Fan babies. Oh, Taylor, I can't share that. Oh, sucks. I shared it. Um, check out that little Jabo, that little Jabo pump for a small tank. You still might have a little too much flow out of that thing. You could put some sort of diffuser on it, like a 3D printed something something to block some of the flow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, J Fusion, is it hard to put the Alley E bars in the oven and custom them? No, it is not hard at all. Um, but you have to be comfortable with the possibility that you're going to break it. Right? You put your oven in on about 300, 350, maybe somewhere in there. You put it in there. You open up the door. You check the LEDs. Nope, not yet. You open the door. Check the LEDs. Nope, not yet. You open the door. Pop. The LED comes right off. Then you put a little flux on there. And then, or put flux on the new LED and make sure your polarity is right, the plus and minus are right, and then you put it right back down on that pad where that one came off that you just removed. Done. That's it. It is that easy. If you have to add solder and you don't have low temp solder, then you could bring the light out. It's hot. Don't touch it. It's going to hurt you. But you can put it on top of the burner and heat it up directly and then add a little solder some high temp stuff and put the led down as long as you put flux on the bottom of the led and then put it down so it's easy it's easy for me uh, but just keep in mind i'm an old dude and i've broken a lot of stuff so uh, i have the personal experience that makes it easy for me to do You'll send me, Cole, the GHL Metris 62. So we've talked about this, right? Is it it's you that I've been talking to? Sorry, refresh my memory. I suck at this. Uh, but you'd be good, right? Because we talked about that spectrum. If you're who I think you are, we've talked about that spectrum. And if you add the LEE bars, then you'll be set. You'll have what you need. <laughs> Lynn calls it stupidity. I like Lynn. Yeah, but can I send it back to you? It's going to get stuck at a border. Is Canada open up yet? Can I drive to Canada? Is that a thing yet? I mean, I have my shot. I have my card. I want to get my motor home and come up. Angel. Um, maybe. I don't have a little 10-gallon. What, a 10-gallon? You might need a little diffuser thingy. This thing puts out a lot of flow, but it's nice and small, and it's pancakey, and it's kind of compact. It might be worth trying. If that doesn't work, hit me up because I have one. I can measure it, create a diffuser, or hit up um, uh, Travis, Fish a Hex. Maybe he has one for an SLW5. 
uh, mm -hmm. and can send you one of those cheap because he sells stuff cheap. See, Green Plaid did his on top. That works. That's how I did uh, when I didn't have enough solder for one of the LEDs. That's what I did. I brought it up, put it on a gas burner, heated it up a little bit more, added some solder, added some flux, and then put the LED down, and I was good to go. Oh, John Curry, you're old. You know what's up. You've broken some, th <laughs> You've broken some things. You know how this works. Yeah, and as always, right, hit me up on Instagram. I may be slow to respond. Don't delete your messages. I had some some person hit me up, and they were like, oh, I've never done this before. It's kind of weird. And, and and they were just being nice, and I didn't respond fast enough, and they, they felt weird about it, and they deleted their message. You don't have to do that. Leave it there. I'll eventually get to it, right? I mean, I'm, I'm busy. I got work. I got a life. I got stuff to do, and... Uh, but I am interested in responding or at least trying to help. And if I can't help, like I always say, I'm going to point you in somebody's direction who maybe can. So leave your message. I'll get to it. Unless you're that one guy. The one guy I'm not going to reply to you because you're a jerk. <sighs> yeah, Angel. No worries. <sighs> All right, I'm out. Y'all cool? Thanks for the chatter tonight. Makes it easier. Makes it fun for me. I want to hear about that j -Bo light. I want to see how that goes. And I need somebody to hook me up with a Stratton, and I'll send you a gift card back. I like to play with that. I'd like to see what ATI's got going on, because I think that's, the, that's, that's their future, and I want to see what's up. Come to the East Coast if you can. Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. Your motorhome would have tons of things to do here. I, uh, I would love that. I would love to go to Nova Scotia. I would love to stop in Maine and see that kind of stuff. I'd like to swing through Nova Scotia. I would like to go. I would like to turn around and come back down and go up to Niagara. And I would like to go up. And I've spent a lot of time in Winnipeg, but I didn't like that. It was kind of great. It's like Russia with really friendly people. That's what it's like. I was there in the winter, and that's horrible. Who wants to do that? I was only there once when it was nice, and I sat outside and had beers with some dude, and he was cool. Um, but the other times, it was like winter in Russia with nice people that are oddly passive-aggressive, too. So <clears throat> I would love to do that. I would love to travel around. Everybody with their back orders. That sucks. All right, y'all. I'm out. Hope you have a good night. Hope you have a great week. I hope uh, everybody's doing well and you're healthy. Um, I hope your families are healthy as well. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you very much. I hope you don't mind uh, what I shared tonight. If you do, cool, engage. I will be respectful. You do the same. Um, if you have questions, challenges, need help with something, always, right? Um, opinions, assistance, whatever. That's always free. Happy to help. Cool. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out. Happy reefing and be kind, everyone. Night.